What's up, Congers? We got a game here against Shoesman. Uh, I actually played him the other day. I think he hates me because I play Mongol. So we'll see how this game goes. Uh, I think he was playing a lot of French last time we played. I'm not sure what he's playing now, but we're going Mongol and Hillendale. Hopefully we can get a dub in here. Uh, both conquer threes. I, I lost my last game. So let's see if we can get a win in here. Looks like I'm going to be pretty far away from my gold. Oh, I just ran my con right through the town center. There we go. Yeah, this guy really hates Mongols, so he's already complaining. Good luck. Have fun. Uh, probably just gonna Dark Age rush him since he's real, real angry right now. Uh, normally if an opponent's just like really annoyed, I'll just play on that. I, he doesn't want to play me. I ask him if he would just surrender. So, see what we've got going on here. I think he's got gold on the other side. So, yeah, we're going to tower rush. Actually, we're not going to tower rush. We're just going to make Dark Age Spearman. Let me correct that statement. So, I don't... You could tower rush this, but I'm... I, he's so far away on Hillendale. What I would rather do is just send a couple spearmen here. Deny the gold and the deer. And then we're in a good spot. So that's what I would like to do here. Um, I don't... He probably just assumes I'm coming with spears. I haven't seen him scout my base. So there's the two spears. And I think the two spears is all I will need. And then I'm just working on getting up to feudal other than that. And I'm going to set up trade. So I want to find which side of the map my market is on. There's a little there's a deer back there. So my market's probably in right corner if his is in left corner. The other funny thing would be if I traded to his market. Uh, that would definitely annoy him greatly. So we're going to get the two spearmen out of the gold, deny the deer and berries, and we're just going to keep him there until he does something about it, most likely. Yeah, I got absolutely dogged in the game before this by an English guy. I, uh, I just struggle in that matchup. Not good against English when I'm playing Mongol. I'm just going to start... If someone's playing uh, English every time, I'm just going to start switching to Delhi like I used to. Get a, just a couple villagers out to gold here. And uh, get back and deliver my sheep. So it looks like he's on the deer out here. That's what we want to deny with the spearmen. So he destroyed his gold mine, moved off of it. That's gonna be fine with me. And we're getting our silver tree up. So he probably threw this mill down for wheelbarrow. Uh, looks like my guy's just in range there, so. Don't want to overdo it. I'm gonna pull a guy to get an early stable up. I'm gonna want to go into Keshik's. 
So he's at feudal age. I assume he's going to make a knight. That would uh, that'd be the smart thing to do here. And his knight's probably going to come. His knight can actually kill these two spears. I don't know if he'll spend the resources to do so. He might also just make an archer. I'm going to pull the con up here to scout it. Main thing is we just want to get our silver tree cranking. And... Uh, Get our food and gold rolling. Get a little trade going. We'll be feeling good. Once I get my first Keshik double produced, I'm going to throw a wheelbarrow up. He actually has not done anything about the spearmen, which is quite curious. Oh, there's the archer. Yeah, and right now I just want to make a lot of Keshik, so I'm going to send the spearmen home. Figured he might be doing that with the knight. Ah, uh, we got a spearman here. Um, we're gonna leave a Keshik just for the moment, but we should be mostly fine. And he's, of course, gonna try to shut down the trade with the knight he's got back there. So I'm gonna send two spearmen to the trade. And then let's see if we can go get a villager kill. So he's actually pulling the knight home. A little surprise. Uh, I know there's a villager on those berries, so I'll see if I can get out there first. Throw some more guys on wood here. I actually was just getting a horseman because I was out of other. Uh, I was out of gold, and he's going to be making archers anyways, so not a big deal. Again, easy villager kill there. I knew there was one on the berries. Let's get another double Keshik production here. He's getting up uh, barracks. So, he's going 1-1-1. One, one, one. I'm going to have to get a... Uh, an archer range myself. There is a lot of archers, so I'll give him that. So I want to get double broad axe. I think that's the guy who just built an insane amount of archers last time I played him. Looks like he might be doing again, so. Definitely want to get my archers in as well. We'll just have kind of a 1 1 1 fight here. And, uh. There are the knights. Which that really ain't gonna work, man. So he's gonna kill traitors here. I'm just gonna keep chasing him with spearmen. And eventually, you just kind of hope you catch one of these guys. So 
So he's really building up the army at home now. So let's get a let's get our own range up. Can't really raid on that side of his base, so let's just see if we can go pick off one of these knights. And I'm going to end up needing a lot of archers and spears. Because he's going to go for the trade. He's going to have his own uh, spears and stuff. So I try to get a night kill here. I'm going to get a night kill with the Khan. Which I'm taking as a good pickoff for me. And uh, we need to get a blacksmith cranking. Ideally, we're also going to want to get a second archery range. So we can see what he's up to. Oh shit, that was bad engagement by me. So he's got a lot of archers right now. Let's go ahead and get that second archer range going. Should I get a tower up there just in case we need it? Yeah, I figured he might go down there with the army. Which actually does mean his base is largely undefended. So, we're going to trade with his market, and then we're going to build up our, our main forces at home. See if he has a wall up here. Probably not. Or he probably has a wall in the front, but probably not at the back is, is what I'm counting on here. Yeah, he's got a ton of units. So, mostly archers. Some knights in there. Yeah, I mean, in reality, he's got me in a decent spot. Like, he's got more troops than I have. I need to get some pastures up here. Oh, yeah, got a good find on the berries here. So I pulled the con off. So he thinks he's stopping the trade right now, but he's not. I just kind of sent a, a token force of traders or token group of traders to get killed out there. So he just walled me in. That was actually pretty smart. So, I might just be able to run home with my Keshiks. 
and try to handle this. With my Keshex here, I think I can do it. If they're not here, I don't think that's a possibility. See if we can catch his army out on the map out here. So again, I think I can actually take this. Uh, he brought more guys. I'm gonna have to pull out of this actually. We have to let the, the spearmen sacrifice themselves for the glory of the good, the greater good. He's got a ton of archers, dude. What's crazy about this is I think that means time to spawn a lot of Keshiks. I'm going to divert trade back the other way. Need to go out on the berries. Yeah, and I think I, I think I need a lot, a lot of Keshix. So he's not building nearly as many spears as I thought he would have. He's got a huge amount of army. I know he's moved out on the map for food. Let's see if we can go raid with these Keshix a little bit. I think I just mostly stopped making archers here. Focus on Keshik. Uh, he's got a wall on the other side. You see where the, how the traders are going? He's almost definitely walled off the other market. And uh, actually kind of looks like he's just coming for the kill here. So not great situation for us here. Fucking Christ, dude. Yeah, I actually want to just kill those guys with Keshix.
So he's really pushing on me here. He's got me in a bad spot. I think I need to attack. I think I just need to full send it. So I'm looping around with the Keshik, sending these guys in the front. close fight I think I'm gonna take this but uh we've seen better it's looked better I think he just overextended himself there and then had to really pay for it I am literally out of food though And I think he's got this walled off, but I just got to send the traders anyways. So I know he was on these berries earlier, and maybe this is overextending myself, but I just brought down the big army, so got to push, right? Actually, uh, it's not blocked back there. See if we can loop around here. I'm building a lot of towers because I'm I'm not gonna be able to defend this. So I gotta add a minimum, try to loop around and kill hit his eco, because I am kinda in deep shit. Pick up here. Oh, 
So, got a couple kills there. I'm just making shitloads of Keshix. Trying to hit this guy where it hurts. With more raids on the villagers. So, good villager pickups there. Again, I don't really want to take a fight here. I could. So, if he finds my wood down there, I'm absolutely fucked. So I don't know if well, this has really just kind of devolved into me surviving in this game. Uh, not a whole lot else to talk about. I need the con with me, so I have a scout. And I need to try to raid again, to be honest. If I was him, he should like go up to castle. I mean, he has an insane amount of troops right here. You know, I don't know if that means he's gonna gonna actually do anything with him or not, but again, he can sit here and burn all my stuff down. And uh, I can garrison up. So, I've lost this game. I mean, he's he played a good game. He got me here, but uh, I am fighting to the death. We're going to see how many units we can kill. I am interested to know if he was on two town center or how that was working. But, dude, he just had such an insane amount of troops, man. I just couldn't hold it off. Um, he, he played a good game. I needed more raids, but, you know, he walled up effectively, and he, he played a pretty good game there. Well, that's two losses for the day, so...
Uh, thanks everybody for watching. I mean, I think. Let's see what his ecograph is here. That was a long game. Yeah, I mean, I was beating him in trade for a while. He's got villagers out on the map. He's pretty. He's pretty well walled up. Oh yeah, he's already done his farm transition, man. I think he just had me there. I. His military, I mean, he does a great job of amassing. Look at how big his military is. He does a great job of amassing, amassing military. Well, thanks everybody for watching. That was a pretty good game overall. I mean, at the end of the day, that guy just kicked my butt, right? Like, he, uh, he just kept producing more and more military and was just able to push through and kind of break what I had going with the trade, uh, he did a good job walling that top trade off. I'm not even sure he meant if he meant to do that or if he just uh, was walling his area off. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he's farm transitioned, right? So I'm going to have to break through Palisade and get all the way back there. It's kind of hard to get back there and raid on Hillendale. He's doing a good job with the mixed composition. And uh, man, he's got a lot of archers. So thanks everybody for watching, and I'll uh, see you guys on the next one.